Today we are going to see what is surveying and the principles of surveying. Surveying is the process of finding the relative position of an object on the surface of the earth. Surveying is used for uh, uh, making maps and before uh, you start a project you have to do survey in order to find the uh, level and so many other properties of your site. So uh, jumping into the principles of surveying, we have two main principles of surveying. The first one is location of a point by measurement from two known points and the second one is working from whole to part. So uh, giving a quick example for location of a point by measurement from two known points, consider a ship or a boat in the sea and this is the shore and you have to find the distance of the ship from the shore. So what in order to find it you have to uh, establish two control points. Control points are those whose uh, uh, properties you, are, uh, you know completely. You know the level of them, the distance between the two control points and you know all these informations with high precision. So you uh, establish two control points and uh, you find the distance between them. Say it is x meters, you convert that into a scale and you plot it in a paper. A, B and you find uh, the uh, and you plot the distance in some scale in the paper and next what you do is you uh, using a compass you find the angle of the ship uh, the ship is making with the horizontal from A so you find the angle so angle say it is alpha so uh, after finding the angle you have to plot it in the paper it is alpha and next uh, from uh, with B you have to find the angle the ship makes say it is theta and you mark theta here in the paper and as a result you will get the point of the ship and uh, using tr uh, normal trigonometry you can uh, find the distance of the ship from the show. So uh, for uh, finding the distance or to establish the position of this ship we have used two points. So this is the principle of serving. You have to uh, in order to find a location of one point you will have to uh, establish two control points and next is working from whole to part. Um, say I have a ground or a plot and I have to find the area of this plot. So first of all using the principle of serving of whole to part what I do is I establish several control points with high precision at the edges of the plot and I join them. So these points have been marked with highest precision and from that I will establish the other control points using these points as the reference. So I uh, using these points as reference I am establishing these control points. And using these I will establish uh, points here. So uh, by doing this, the uh, accumulation of error is minimized. Say I am approaching this project uh, from part to whole. Then I will have to establish these points first and then these and then these. So when I do these things, an error accumulated here will be multiplied when it goes to the next level of control points. So this will be avoided when we work from whole to part. We know that error is directly proportional to the length of the line. So uh, we can see that when we work from whole to part, uh, the length of the line keeps decreasing. As a result, the error also decreases. Whereas when we go from part to whole, the length of the lines, they increase. So uh, this is one of the reasons why one should go from whole to part. So these are the principles of surveying and uh, for I'll be posting more videos on surveying and other subjects uh, so that you can prepare for GATE. I will be posting it only in English. If you like this video, give it a like, share and subscribe and let me know that you actually like this video so that I can keep doing more videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you.